Hey friends! Today I'm gonna show you how you can use time stretching in Reason. Time stretching is when you have an audio loop or audio event and you want to change the length of that without inflicting on the pitch. Alright! Let me show you how to ta -ta -ta time stretch. Okay, so I have created an audio track here, uh, which I named Audio Loop, because I'm gonna load uh, an audio loop on it. And to do that, you need to click on the track, go to File, Import Audio File, and search for some audio loops to choose from on your hard drive. Uh, this, in fact, is from the factory sound bank. Let's check some out. Okay, let's go for that one. Open. So now I have the loop in place here. But uh, as you can see, it doesn't line up as a 4-bar loop. And uh, if we listen to it with a metronome, we can hear that it's not in sync. And that's because the loop I loaded was 125 beats per minute, and the track is in 120 beats per minute. So how do you fix this? Surprise, surprise, you need to time stretch it. And to do this in Reason, you select the clip, hold down the control key, and go to the edge here with your mouse, and you can now left click and drag it to the closest bar. Now, this audio loop is time stretched and in sync with the track's tempo. Let's listen to it once again with the metronome. And you can hear it in sync with the tempo of the track. There are three different types of time stretching in Reason, so let's check it out by going to the rack. So here we have the audio track with the audio loop on it. And if you look over here, it says stretch type. And this is the type of time stretch which is used on this track. It's set on all round now, but if you click here, you can see that there are three, di three different types to choose from. One for vocals, one for melodies, and one all round. This all round setting actually is very good for most tracks. And uh, in fact, it's so good. Let me show you if I go back to the sequencer. And uh, if I make a radical change on this by time stretching to half its size, and it still will sound good. Listen. Alright, so that was time stretching in Reason. You can experiment with this by, for example, chopping loops up and time stretching parts individually. Show your support by liking and sharing this video. I'm also on Facebook and Google+, so you can add me there if you want to. That's it. I'll see you next time. And remember, you rock, my friends. Remember to like and subscribe.